Good evening, teacher. Heba, good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Mm -hmm. How are you? I am okay. Thank you, God. I'm sorry. I'm a little late, but because I had a class. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I think I have to wait for your friends to come. Maybe one or two minutes maximum. Tagreed is coming, amazing. So let me accept Tagreed and I think we have to begin. Okay, so guys, I think I have to share the screen and we have to complete from the point that we have stopped recently. Exactly, this is it, okay. So let me open the book and right, it's coming. So this is your book. I think I have to go down to the point. Okay. We have discussed all of these. That's amazing. And we skip this we exactly exactly okay previously guys we talked about countable and uncountable nouns and i told you guys that you have to use some any with countable and uncountable nouns i have to use some with positive sentences and any with negative sentences plus if you are asking any question and we have many much don't forget that many for countable nouns and much for uncountable nouns. A lot of for countable and uncountable nouns. A few for countable and a little for uncountable nouns. So this is the final exercise that we have discussed. Let me revise discussing this grammar spot. And after that, we have to complete. So notice that A is saying how much, not much, a little for uncountable noun. Don't forget that, please. And how many, not many, a few for countable noun. This is number two. And list three, we have some, any, not any, or no, a lot of, or lots of. This is for countable 
and uncountable noun. So this, sorry, this is it. So now this two is saying much and many are not usually used for positive statements. So notice I have to say there, uh, I cannot say, for example, there are many books in my bag. I have to say there is much, or I cannot say much or many here because I'm talking, uh, 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 I'm not talking about negative. I have to uh, be careful about if the sentence is positive or maybe negative. I need you guys to take a look at three. And if you remember, I told you that I have to use any if the sentence is negative. For example, I don't have any money. So I used any because the sentence is negative. And I told you that I have to use any if I'm asking any question. For example, do you need any uh, 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 pencils, for example? So I used any because I'm asking a question. But be careful. If you are asking a request, if you are making a request, you don't have to use any at all. You have to use some. Take a look at this example. Which one is the request? If I want to say, is there any orange juice or can I have some orange juice? Again, I know that we have a question. Question mark here, question mark here. But you have to differentiate if the sentence is a question, a normal question, or if you are making a request. If it is a normal question, you have to use in because a question. So is there any orange juice? But if you are making a request, don't use any. You have to use some. So I have to say, can I have some orange juice? I cannot say, can I have any orange juice? So one exception you have to keep in mind. If you are making a request by using can, could, well, would, you don't have to use any at all, but you have to use some. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, so let's apply this rule. I think we have an exercise down. Let's do it and let's check the difference. Now, the practice page is saying we have to discuss the grammar in this exercise. So complete the sentences using some or maybe any. Number one, have they got a children? Any. Any oh, children. Bravo. Do we have an recording? No, I don't have recording. Okay, recording only for four. Exactly. So have they got any children? Because I'm asking a question. And any with the plural. Children is the, is the plural. I have to use any. So this is correct. Two, we don't need olive oil. Any. Any, bravo. I have been, because it is negative, exactly. Now three, be careful. Can you lend me money? Some money. So, uh, bravo. Some. Why some? Uh, money is uncountable. Money. But I can use a request. Amazing. It is a request. So if you are making a request, please be careful. You cannot use any. So can you lend me some money? Not any money is exactly. Four. Is there petrol in the car? Any, any, petrol. any petrol. Amazing. Because I'm asking a question. Now, finally, five. Can I have cake? Some cake. Oh, bravo. Why some? Yeah. Request, thank you, Tagreed. So it is a request. So again, please be careful about requests, three and five, because we cannot use any at all. We have to use uh, 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 some, not in. Now much and many. Have you got homework? <coughs> much homework, because uh, homework... Uh, Exactly, because homework is uncountable. I have to use much. Have you got much homework? Now, too, we don't need eggs. Just have many. A many. many eggs. Exactly. Why many? Eggs are countable. Oh, countable. bravo, the great. Eggs is countable, so I have to say many. Three, is there traffic in your town? 
much, much traffic. A much, much traffic. What is this? Exactly, much traffic. Because much is uncountable. I have to use much. So is there much traffic in your town? This is much. Four, I don't know students in this class. Many. Oh, bravo. I don't know many students. Because a student is countable now. Five, how time have you got? How much time, exactly. Because time is uncountable now. طبعاً, guys, لازم ننتبه من time. إذا كنت عم بقصد time, guys, الوقت, فالمتش. أما إذا كنت عم بقصد عدد المرات, أكيد بدي أستخدم many. يعني شوفوا هالexample. How many times have you visited Turkey? لما أقول how many times, فأنا بالtime ما بقصد الوقت, بقصد عدد المرات. فأكيد بدي أنتبه من التايم بليز بي كيرفل. أوكي. ناو ثري. A little a few a lot of. One. I have very close friends. Two or three. Uh, a few. A few. Exactly. I have a few friends. Maybe one. Maybe two or three only. So a few. Two, he has money. He is a millionaire. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of money. So a lot of for countable and uncountable noun. Because he has a lot of money, he is a millionaire. Three, do you take sugar in coffee? Just have a, a, just a, little. Just a little. Exactly. A little. Just a little sugar. Because sugar is... Uncountable now. Half a spoonful. Mm -hmm. So I'll be with you in minutes. A few minutes. In a few minutes, exactly. In a few minutes, I will be ready. So in a few minutes. Five. He speaks good Spanish, but only Russian. A little, a little of Russian, little. exactly. Languages all the time are uncountable. So little English, little Russian. So this is it. Please be careful because sometimes they are little confusing. It's not the end. We still have <coughs> an exercise which is four. Uh, guys, if you notice this list plus this list, for example, if I want to say something, someone, somebody, Somewhere, you have to do the same with the next one. Anything, anyone, anybody, anywhere, everything, everyone, everybody, anyway, no one till the end of the indefinite pronouns. If you notice, guys, here I have one slash body. Why I have one slash body? Because both of them are correct. I mean, if you want to say someone is correct, somebody is correct. There is no difference between them. Plus, you have to apply the same rule if it is negative or positive. You have to say anyone or maybe someone. Please be careful. Okay, let's apply this to this exercise. And then we have to listen to the recording to check our answers. Maybe we have a certain mistake. One, did you meet nice... Uh, anyone or anybody. Amazing. So anybody? Anybody or anyone. Both of them are correct. Thank you. So yes, I met who knows somebody. I met somebody or, or someone exactly. I met somebody knows you. Somebody. Two. Ouch! There is in my eye something. There was something in my eye exactly. There is something in my eye. So some plus thing. Let me take a look. No, I can't see anything. Uh, bravo, anything. anything. Exactly. I cannot see anything in your eye. So anything. Three. Let's go hot for our holidays. Somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, exactly. Let's go somewhere hot. So some plus where. But we can't go 
That's anyway. true. Anyway, anyway, because anyway. it is exactly negative, negative. So anyway. Ma pinan ul nowhere. Oh, we can't go nowhere. Do you know why? Let's from the ul guys. We can't go nowhere. Oh no, negative. Ah, bravo. Fi andi bravo. Fi andi negative and negative. Okay. 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 أنا لست لا ما عندي شيء أعمله شو بقول I don't have anything to do صح mm -hmm. أو بقول I have nothing, nothing to do برافو ليش أنا قلت I ليش ما قلت I don't have أو oh, برافو I have to use only one negative I cannot use two negatives in the same sentence okay. so this is why nowhere is wrong لو عندي can but we can go I can say nowhere Okay, now for where are my glasses? I cannot find them anywhere. Anywhere. anywhere, exactly. I cannot find them anywhere. What are what are they on the top of your head? Five. It was a great party. Loved it. Everyone. Everyone, Everyone, Everyone. loved it. Oh, everybody, bravo. Everybody. Love the party. So everyone, everybody, both of them are the same. They did wanted to go Nobody. home. Nobody. Nobody wanted to go home. Exactly. Because they were happy. Nobody wanted to go home or no one. Six. Did you get nice in the cells? Any, anything. 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 Did you get anything nice? Or maybe something. Okay. Did you get anything nice in no, the nothing. sales? No, nothing yeah. at all. Exactly. No, nothing. I didn't get anything. No, nothing. I couldn't find I like anything again. Okay. I couldn't find anything I liked. So these are your answers. And I think that we have a recording, which is 4.3. Let's listen to the recording. And let me check your answers. Maybe you have a certain mistake. Uh, this is recording for or unit four. Exactly. And this is recording three. Tape script 4.3. Something. Someone. Somewhere. One. Did you meet anyone nice at the party? Yes, I met somebody who knows you. Oh, bravo, so number one is completely correct. Now two. Oh, who was that? Your ex-boyfriend. Two. Ouch, oh, there's something in my eye. Let me look. No, I can't see anything. Oh, bravo, I can't see anything, so two is correct. Now three. But I can feel it, somewhere in the corner of my eye. Three. Let's go somewhere hot for our holidays. But we can't go anywhere that's too expensive. So anywhere, it's correct three. Okay. I know, but we can afford this package holiday to Turkey. Now four. Four. Where are my glasses? I can't find them anywhere. What are they on the top of your head? My glasses. Thank you. It, exactly. It is anywhere. Now five. Five. It was a great party. Everybody loved it. They did. Nobody wanted to go home. I know. A few people were still dancing at 3 a.m. Exactly. So number five is correct. Now finally six. Six. Did you get anything nice in the sales? No, nothing. I couldn't find anything I liked. Oh, Why not try shopping online? You can buy everything online these days. So this is it. Thank you, guys. It is completely correct. So again, be careful about them because sometimes they are a little confusing. Okay. Now I think it's the time to talk about articles. Maybe the articles are talking about a, maybe an, Maybe the 
and maybe nothing at all, no article, especially no article because most of the students commit horrible mistakes in using articles. They seem easy, but sometimes uh, 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 they are a little confusing. Okay, before we discuss the articles, let's read this passage, which is about my grandfathers, and let's do the following exercise. Can I ask you, Hiba, to read the passage, please? Yes. My grandfathers, my grandfather lived until he was 101 years old. He was a shopkeeper. He had a fish and chip shop mm -hmm. in an old village near a big and Understeel industrial, industrial, in, industrial mm -hmm. town in the north of England, England, England. Mm -hmm. He had a son and a daughter. The daughter is my mother. He, the family lived above the shop. In those days, fish and chips was the most popular. Mm -hmm. dish, uh, dish in the whole country. Mm -hmm. My grandfather made the best fish and chips in the area. Mm -hmm. People come to the village by bus, special, especially to get them. Everybody loved my grandfather because he was such a happy and country, contented man. He worked hard, but once a week he closed the shop and went to have lunch, not fish and chips. With friends in the local pub, mm -hmm. he didn't little until he was uh, 78 years old. He said uh, that the secret Secret. 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 Sec secret uh -huh. to, to long live was a glass of of whiskey before going going to bed and lots of fish and chips. Thank you so much, Hiba. You have a good reading skill. But can you read this word again? Industrial. 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 Oh, Industrial Sinai. Industrial town, Madino yeah. Sinai. Okay. This direction is above. 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 Exactly. Lived above the shop. Above. Exactly. This people, verb is people came. Came. This adjective is contented. Oh, bravo. Contented. Contented means radun or muqtana. This verb Re is retired. Retire. Retire. Bravo. Retire. Retire. Retire, guys, means yastaqil. He didn't retire. Lam yastaqil hatta asbaha fi umr al-sabi'a wa al-thamanun. Taqa'ad, yani. Oh, bravo. Retire. Taqa'ad. Exactly. Okay. Uh, this one is secret. 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 And this noun is life. Life, exactly. Thank you so much, Amhiba. Tagreed, can you read the passage? Yes, sure. My grandfather's my grandfather lived until he was one hundred one years old. He was a shopkeeper. He had a fish and chip shop in an old village near a big industrial town in the north of England. He had a son and a daughter. The daughter is my mother. The family uh, lived above the shop. In those days, fish and chips was the most popular dish in the whole country. My grandfather made the best fish and chips in the area. People came to the village by bus especially to get them. Grandfather, because he was such a happy and contented man. 
He worked hard, but once a week he closed the, the shop and went to have lunch, not fish and chips, with friends uh, in the local pub. Uh, he didn't retire until he was 78 years old. He said that the secret to, uh, to a long life was a glass of whiskey before going to bed and lots of fish and chips. Amazing, Tagreed, you are a good reader. You had no mistake at all. That's great. Thank you. Uh, Raid, can you please read the passage? Okay. My grandfather lived until he was 101 years mm -hmm. uh, old. He was a, a shopkeeper. Uh, he had a fish and uh, a chip uh, shop in, a, uh, in an old uh, village near a big industrial town in the north of uh, England. Uh, he had a son and a daughter. Uh, the daughter is my mother. Uh, the family lived uh, above uh, the shop. Uh, in those days, uh, fish and the chips was uh, the most popular dish in the in the whole uh, country. My grandfather made uh, the best fish and the chips in the area. Uh, people came to the to the village by bus, uh, especially to get them. Everybody loved my grandfather because. Uh, he was uh, such a happy and contented man. Uh, he worked hard, but uh, uh, once a week uh, he closed the, the shop and went to have lunch, not fish and chips, uh, with friends in the local pub. Uh, he didn't uh, retire until he was 78 years old. He said that the secret along uh, life was a glass of uh, uh, whiskey before going to bed. Uh, and uh, and lots of fish and the chips. Thank you, right? You are a real reader. Thank you so much. Uh, Zainab, can you read the passage, please? Yes, teacher. My grandfather, my grandfather lived until he was 101 years old. He was a shop, shopkeeper. He had a fish and chip shop in an old village near a big industrial town in the north of England. He had a son and a daughter. The daughter is my mother. The family lived above the shop. In those days, fish and chips was the most popular dish in the whole country. My grandfather made the best fish and chips in the area. People came to the village by bus, especially to get them. Everybody loved my grandfather because he was such a happy and contented man. He worked hard, but once a week he closed the shop and went to have lunch not fish and chips, with friends in the local pub. He didn't retire until he was 78 years old. He said that the secret to a long life was a glass of, uh, of whiskey before going to bed and lots of fish and chips. Thank you, Zainab. You are a good reader. That's amazing. Okay. Now, guys, all of you, please, I need you to find the articles that are used in this passage, A and, and the. Start from the beginning and tell me to underline. A uh, shopkeeper. Oh, bravo. A, shop a shopkeeper. Exactly. What else? A uh, fish. Oh, bravo. Okay. An old village. An old. Exactly. And? Uh, a glass of, of whiskey. Oh, bravo. A glass of whiskey. A son, a daughter. A, a son, son a, daughter. a daughter. Exactly. This is it. A son. A daughter, okay. The daughter. Uh huh. The daughter is bravo. The family. The family. Uh, a week. A week. Once a week. A exactly. happy and uh, contented. Oh, happy. bravo! A happy and contented. Okay. The shop. The shop is bravo. Uh, the secret. Life. The secret. Amazing. The most popular. The most popular, exactly. A long the life. Ah, yeah, bravo. A long life. So we notice, guys, this passage is full of articles, A, N, and Z. We still have something a little confusing. Absolutely, I'm going to show you. Now, before discussing the grammar spot, let's try to do the exercise. The exercise is saying I have to join the sentences using the articles, the, a, an, or maybe no article at all. 
Okay, let's start from number one. My father was shopkeeper. Oh, bravo. My father was a shopkeeper. Now he lived in north of the England. North. In the north, bravo. The north. He lived in the north of England. Three, he had a fish and a chip shop in old in village. Old. In an old village, exactly. In an old village. Four, his family lived above shop. No uh, article. Uh, you... Above the shop. Mm -hmm. Above the, the shop. Thing. Oh, bravo. So above the shop. Now he made best fish and the chips. Uh, the best. In the area. No the best. Uh -huh. I'm talking about superlative. Ah, oh, okay, uh, the best. Uh, because I'm talking about superlative, absolutely, I have to mm -hmm. use that. The best. Okay. Some people came by bus to the shop. No article. No article. So please, this is, I need you to be careful. Because if you want to say by bus, by bike, by car, you don't have to use any article at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. He closed the shop once a week. Once a week. Once a week, exactly. Once a day, once a week, a month, a year, so a week. Now he went to have lunch. A lunch. With... Are you sure? No article. No, no article. article. Thank you, Tagrid. No article at all. So if you are talking about the breakfast, lunch, uh, uh, dinner, you don't have to use article. This is it. I went to have what? Lunch. Not the lunch. Not a lunch. Not an lunch. Now, he liked to have little. A little. A little, exactly. So, a little whiskey. This is it. So, again, if you notice that, if you want to talk about bus, car, train, plane, you have to, do not have to use any article at all. And even if you are talking about meals, like breakfast, lunch, dinner, you don't have to use any articles Okay, let's listen. Maybe you have a mistake. It is 4.6. So let's listen to the recording and let's check our answers. This is recording six. Tape script 4.6. Articles. My grandfather was a shopkeeper. Oh, bravo, why is a shopkeeper? Number one is correct, two. He lived in the north of England. In the north of England. Three. He had a fish and chip shop in an old village. So, in an old village, correct. Okay. His family lived above the shop. Above the shop. This is it. It's correct. Next. He made the best fish and chips in the area. Absolutely superlative. I have to say the best. Okay. Some people came by bus to the shop. So, no article. He closed the shop once a week. Once a week, once a year, it is a. He went to have lunch with friends. So, with meals, no article. Finally. He liked to have a little whiskey before bed. So, a few, a little, absolutely with a. Guys, I need you to be careful about that. That, there's something you have to be careful. First of all, don't use that with uncountable nouns. This is number one. Look, I cannot say the water. I cannot say the love. I cannot say the hate. So with uncountable nouns, don't use that. For example, guys, How can I say it in English? Life is beautiful. Oh, bravo. Life is beautiful. Life is amazing. فلاحظوا guys, أنا ما استخدمت الارتكل ذا. السبب إنه أنا عم بحكي بشكل عام. بس إذا عم خصص حياة شخص معين بدي انتبه لأنه لازم استخدم الارتكل. مثلا إذا بدي أقول أنا معجب بحياة زينب. I have to say I like the life. Oh, bravo. The life of Zainab. So, please be careful. لأنه إذا بدنا نعمم 
you don't have to use that at all. Love is important in our life. Hate is something bad. But if you are specifying something, you have to use the article that. Okay? Okay. So this is what I need you just to be careful because sometimes some students commit mistakes while using the articles. It's still, it's not the end. We still have an exercise about them. Please, you have to be careful. Let me erase my board and let's solve this exercise. This exercise, guys, is saying that we have to complete the sentences using the articles, maybe A, maybe N, maybe that, or maybe no article at all. One, he has boy and girl. Boy. Uh, boy. Uh, and girl. Uh, bravo, he has a boy and a girl. Okay. The boy. The boy. Oh, bravo. The boy is 22. The girl. The girl. The girl. Okay. في كثير من الطلاب جايز بيسألوني طب تيتشر أنت والله حيرتنا يعني ليش بالأول استخدمت الـ A ومع أنه ذكرنا نفس البوي استخدمت الـ article ذا دائما جايز إذا في شيء أول شيء أنا ما بعرفه بستخدم الـ articles A و N لما يعرف لما يصير معروف للمستمع أو للقارئ أنا بسهولة قادر استخدم الـ article ذا let me show you an example I remember that I have an example, a good example about articles. Uh, let me show you the example because it is really important. This is it, exactly. Okay, let's take a look, guys, at this page. If you notice that the page is saying, I saw a person yesterday. After mentioning the person, it will be known. And because it will be known, now I can use the article the. So I saw a person, the person was sitting under, I don't know the tree, so a tree. After mentioning the tree, it will be known. So he was sitting under a tree, the tree was very tall. Now I have to complete mentioning the same person by using article the, why? Because now I know him or her. The person stood up. Now the cat, it is the first time I mentioned the cat, so I said the cat. The second time by mentioning the cat, I have to use the. So the cat jumped on a wall. This is the first time I mentioned the wall, so I have to use a. Now the wall is known for me, I have to say the wall. The bird is not known for the first time, a bird. After that, I have to say the bird. So please be careful again about this rule because it is really important, especially in writing. Okay? So this is why if you notice here, in the beginning I said a boy, a girl, then I used the articles the. So he has a boy, I still don't know the boy, a girl, I still don't know the girl, now I know the boy, now I know the girl, so the girl. Two, his son is engineer. And his daughter is an engineer. And his daughter is a student. Uh, is a student. Oh, bravo, is a student, exactly, because the noun starts with consonant. I have to say a. Now three, he always has cheese sandwiches for lunch. A cheese. Uncountable noun. Ah. Uh, no article. No article. Exactly. Mm. He always has cheese sandwiches for lunch. For, for the lunch. lunch. Are you sure? For, for lunch. For, for lunch. lunch. No, no article. Uh, exactly. With meals, don't use any articles. So he has always, or he always has cheese sandwiches for lunch. Four, all family stayed at the Grand Hotel. The family. All the family, all the family. I know the family. Mm -hmm. How many Grand Hotel I have in the city? At the Grand Hotel. Oh, bravo, only one. At the Grand Hotel, I only have one. It is known 